as requested here's episode 2 of the series did you know in this series we look at completely useless things but also tricks that may improve your gameplay one thing to note with the first three clips as they're kind of borderline cheating in my opinion i ended up choosing to put it out there as i think it's important that the players not using it will know to check for scumbags that may use these glitches i've already caught a guy using one of them and it gave me an advantage no one about it and by bringing awareness to it, there's a bigger chance that they get fixed sooner, so that the few that knew about it will no longer be able to use it. I hope you enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it, let me know what you think. The planes at the airfield can make you almost completely invisible. On top of that, it has room to hide an entire squad, so be careful when the end circle are around these. The only reason why I found out was because I saw a guy hiding it and half his arm stuck out so I took my car and just blasted through him. Even cars can go through so this is one of the things that needs to be fixed ASAP. Players can currently use the third person perspective to look through rooftops of various buildings. This can be used to gain information regarding other player positions. This one is in heavy need of being fixed as you can see here I can spot crucial places in the water town and in this other building in the water town too if I crouch jump up on the barrel go over to the little ledge here on this shelf after being told to stand there there we go now I can see through the roof again you can jump out of a vehicle going very fast if you take your booty and slam it against an object to bounce back as an example with this tree so we're going to go at rapid speed here, jump out of the car, and this was the first try. Like it's not that hard to do. But you can also do it up against walls. Now we have this tiny little wall where the vehicle gets stuck, but it doesn't take that much damage. First try again. Now some people may need a bit of practice with it, but it's not that hard to get around to. Comparing crouching while sprinting and without, as we can see, without we're going 12 kilometers an hour, or while with it we're going 17. That makes sprinting while ducking 41.66% faster. When you're in a duo match or squat with two players in a car, in case of emergency, the driver will most likely value him or herself over the passenger. If you place your butts on the same side, you'll both most likely come out on the favorable side. You can exit a boat going full ham by simply jumping out. However, be cautious. If you turn while jumping, I estimate about a 50% survival. These are not good odds and probably not that accurate. But again, this is one of those things that can be used in a very situational world situation. If you're being shot at, don't be scared, just jump the fuck out, they can't shoot you while you're in the water off from the bridge as an example. See here when I turn. Boats do not have brakes. Now this is a video game, some including myself may have thought that holding the S key or spacebar makes the boat stop faster. It simply slows down by itself and does it rather quickly. As we can see here, accelerate to full speed, well about full speed, and then we just let go like that. Here in a sec. There we go. Comparing the parachute while doing the wobbling effect, the back and forth and the normal one was interesting, but we added the glide all the way too just to have a comparison. Now the back and forth wobbly effect actually gets you to 1700 meters, while the normal parachute would only get you to a about 1190 meters now these aren't exact but i tried to measure them as close as i could but then we have to add the timing too it takes 31 seconds longer to do the back and forth effect which is decreasing and increasing your speed all the time while the glide seems to be well fastest in my opinion because if you get down there almost 50 seconds faster then run for fuck's sakes or maybe even find a car. From some buildings such as this three-story house you can escape through the window, simply break it and then you can find some neat little hiding spots. We're in third 
first-person perspective, you can glance out, which you can't do in first-person, obviously. You could also jump down without taking any fall damage. So how can you use this? Well, in this scenario, I found an airdrop and it landed on a house. I simply climbed out the window and jumped across. Got myself a sweet ass gross over that and won the squat match there as well. So that was pretty profitable. The Twitch Prime skins can now be sold through the market. But if you have one and it's only worth like 1, 2, 3 euros, fuck it. Keep it for a year. It might just spike up at price. Isn't it worth it to find out? The boost sound you hear while boosting is client side, meaning you're the only one hearing it. That loud bee busting brain cell killing sound when driving a bucky is an example. You can exit the US and boat with a tactical play in mind. Switching to the fifth player seat will make you exit from the back. Keep this in mind when you're about to engage, it might just come in handy. As we see in with the both, same shit. Fifth seat, jump out in the back, just like that. It might just save your life at some point. Alright, here's one of the completely useless ones. If the seat is open, you can toggle seats through 1 and 5 just as in a vehicle in the plane. So congratulations, you're now in the back. Holstering your weapon in the US can be a good idea on the back seat, as it makes you a tiny bit of a smaller target. However, in the shotgun seat, it'll be a tiny bit bigger with your weapon holstered. This is kind of a really min-maxing kind of deal, but this is what these type of videos are about. Finding the smallest details and breaking it down. Sprinting while crawling makes your camera angle a tiny bit lower, making you feel like it makes a difference. It makes no difference whatsoever when it comes to speed. It's the exact same speed. I'm pretty sure it doesn't make a difference in sound too, we did test it out and I might be deaf but I couldn't really tell any difference at all. So yeah, maybe something in the future. But for now, just there's no reason to use boost while crawling. The UAC or US, whatever you want to call it, has the most health of all the cars but even that car does not stand a chance against the mighty M249. So just aim for the car instead of the driver and blow that poor chump up. Flipping the buggy can make you invisible. If you get the exact right angle and then switch to the second player seat. Now it's not the exact place in this but this I included because there was kind of a weird glitchy part too. When you then view out you can look through the ground and somehow you're looking towards yourself. Which kind of looks a little bit freaky but... Then we spot this guy through the mountain here in a second when I'm done looking at boot physics. Hello? There he is. And then we see him at the top of the mountain here in a second too. Hello? The ballistic mask is pure cosmetic. It does not give you any armor value whatsoever. It's only for show. The last pre-order crate was sold for 626 euros. Or 718 US dollars. What the actual fuck? That's insane. Well, collectors are gonna collect, right? I did have one more that I wanted to include, which is that you can unflip your Dacia, Dacia, whatever you want to call it, by grenading it. Now you need to land it on the side. However, for the life of me, when I needed to crash, I could not crash the proper way. As we see here, motherfucking on the side. No, 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 you're not gonna crash today. But yeah, you can unflip it if it's on the side, but if it's rooftop to the ground, no way, Jose. Alrighty, that's it for this episode, episode 2. There will be an episode 3 at some point. It takes a lot of time to gather these, uh, there's only so much we can break down in these did you know clips, but there will be a third one. Don't you worry about that. So, well, yeah, if you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, you know where to find that delicious button. And if you're already a subscriber, leave a comment saying, what's up, mate? And join the Discord. Have a nice day.